mother who pray, all of them had a role, you yes. know, in sending the manuscript, interpreting the manuscript centuries, right? It's very, very important. So you can see that each time she was asked to write something, an inspiration came to her, which the world needed, right? Because all her manuscript is what we needed right now. It can influence us. And the message of St. Teresa is so simple because yes. we could re resume it in uh, my vocation is love. In yes. the heart of the church, my mother, my mother, ch the church, which brings me to faith in, uh, in, uh, through the baptism and uh, the confirmation with through the sacraments in the whole life of the church, in the, in the, the heart of the church, I will be love, and I will be thus, I will be everything, she says. And that's all, that's uh, marvelous. And that's uh, easy to, to bring to the other one, and it's easy to take for us too. And uh, I think it's why uh, St. Teresa is very popular, accessible. Well uh, loved, yes. you know, because her message is very simple, you know, she's a very, we, we said like a childlike trust of God, you know, yes, of absolutely. Jesus Christ, you know. And I think her message of love is what the world needs now, you know. Yes, uh, Everything right. starts from the word love. And, you know, that's also the reason why Jesus Christ died for us, just to save us, you know, because out of love for his father. I think it's because... Jesus Christ understands his father loved us, the sinner. That's why he agrees to be sacrificed. Without the love of the father to the son and to the son to us, you know, I don't think we will exist. And maybe that's also the reason why. Because as we said, uh, center is very sensitive. She understands the message from God itself, you know, that she has to sacrifice out of love, that she has to send the word of love, you know, why... Jesus Christ was sent to us to die for us because of love also. And I think love can be a cure, but it can also be a destroyer. I don't know. It depends on how we interpret love. But what is beautiful that we have to think love that binds the family together to become holy. Because if the parents doesn't love the five children, because it should be a boy. There is no boy, right? It's all girls. But they, they had already two boys, and they but wanted. But they died, uh, yes. And they died, and they wanted uh, the boys to to have priests. Yeah. And when they died, uh, Sadi was uh, answer to another one who was asking, uh, "Would you like a boy or girl?" And she said, uh, "What uh, whatever God's will, it is, whatever." Yeah. And uh, um, it's a beautiful story to to learn about all the Martin's family. Yes, yeah, really. I think yeah, it's very beautiful that I wish you know their story can be spread because we can learn from the example how they live their life, how they are you know they they really sacrifice their personal needs, but what they showed to us is really love, you know how to love in just a very ordinary way, you know. That love can be strong, can bind together, can make a saint out of anyone, you know. And center is what struck you most about the teaching, personal, what struck you most about the teaching of center is that really inculcate in your heart that you wish the world will understand and will learn more. First, what she said uh, at the end of uh, um, a message. Uh, when she writes a uh, history of, of a soul, uh, I, can't, I cannot fear uh, a God that made himself uh, so little for me. He is uh, only uh, for that. He uh, is uh, only mercy, uh, uh, confidence and mercy. Yes, um, St. Teresa tells us to, to have confidence and love in Jesus because he is only confidence and mercy. And uh, she, she tells us to take uh, uh, the child Jesus in our arms as uh, we, we were able to, to do so uh, during the sonologue. Uh, we had uh, given, uh, we have been given the, the child Jesus and uh, St. Teresa, her name is St. Teresa of the child Jesus and the Holy Face. So there is uh, the the simplicity of the, the child in her name and there is uh, the cross coming through and she offered her life to, uh, 
to, to have communion to uh, Jesus' sacrifice, to help Jesus as a, a missionary she was, mm. to, uh, to save the world. And uh, it's so simple in the, uh, Teresa's offering. Uh, she offers her heart to Jesus for us to offer ours to him through her uh, intercession to be able to know we are the children of our Father in heaven, uh, our in the Holy Spirit. And uh, he is the one who, who brings our life uh, to, to the love of Jesus. So in short, St. Therese has this trust in her heart, you know, and she has in a very good communion with God himself for her to understand God's suffering, God's love for us, you know, and God's sacrifice for as us. She has, you know? Yes, as she has suffered, she understands yes. all our sufferings. And uh, when we suffer, she is able to, to come to us and to, 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 to take care of us because of the love of Jesus. So can't you say, Father Frey, that when we had problems, when we suffer, we should not interpret it as something like very negative or very bad, but rather to learn from it, to understand why Jesus died for us, and for us to also understand God's love for us. It is only because when you had problem, when you suffer, that you will see Him in your heart and in your mind. Don't you think so? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. St. Rosa says, everything is a grace, everything is grace. And sometimes we don't understand when we suffer, but uh, uh, anyway, we know that the Lord is always with us. When we can't uh, go on the way, He takes care of us and He, he takes uh, us in His arms to bring us going away uh, through our uh, difficulties. And one time when I was in my first parish, um, uh, one young boy told me, uh, how, how would I, uh, why shall I uh, love Jesus? Because uh, I don't need him. Everything mm. is all right for me. Okay. It's good for my mother. She is here. And I said, well, what, uh, what is, to, 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 uh, what is uh, telling me about that? And I had to, to discover for myself that we can love Jesus for his love, just only for that. And uh, um, St. Teresa shows us also how to love Jesus because of his love. And I think it's a, a beautiful message. Thank you, Father Hupre. You know, napakaganda po, pero itutuloy pa po namin aming magandang conversation sa pagbabalik po ng Power Tonight with Elvira. Mm -hmm.